What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I've got a work order to pull this uh, condenser pump out. This goes to uh, cooling towers outside and it's leaking here. Looks uh, like it was rebuilt in 2017. We're now in the year 2024. Okay. I'm going to uh, pull this apart try to break this down, see if we can see where that's leaking, but we do take these to a pump rebuild shop, we will go through it, put new bearings and seals, and uh, new gaskets and stuff. So I've gone ahead and shut down uh, one of these chillers, and these are York YRTC chillers, so they're uh, rotary screw chillers. That was condenser pump number two. Let's see if that's correct. Alright, and that triggered our condenser pump number three to come on. We have a uh, standby pump. You can see that one did come on. And we're gonna lock out. Keep the honest man honest, and uh, somebody don't energize on us. And unfortunately, it looks like we got pretty good valves. These aren't all rusted and hard to turn. And, uh, let's see what comes out here. Got some uh, debris up in there. Let's see where it's been running out. But we're gonna put the new one on when we put it back together. And yeah, we'll pull the coupling off. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and break the motor loose. Uh, kind of make some marks about where it's gonna go, but we're gonna have to realign it anyways. And uh, yeah, so that's the next step. Pull the motor back, give us room so we can pull this pump out. Alright, so now we can loosen the uh, foot base and let's go around and undo all those bolts. And then the fun begins, breaking it apart.
about to say those came out pretty easy, but uh, if I remember, I thought that this was in. And uh, it's made I see some of those bolts, so thank you to the younger me for doing that. Alright, so this is where it starts to get interesting. Probably gonna get a little wet. No worries. So we'll start to uh, pull this back. We have to get a uh, pry bar in there, but let's just see if we can jar it loose. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, we'll get this gasket cleaned off here and then I'll uh, spray it down so it doesn't rust too much while we got the pump out. And I think I'll use the uh, chisel on the dual force. So that wasn't so bad. Uh, we're gonna try and get this impeller off 
and see if we can get this broke down some more give you a better look at what's going on in there normally I don't do this uh, we just let the pump shop handle all that but uh, let's try and uh, let's try and get it apart all right so <clears throat> first step take that bolt out and uh, I don't have an impact just got the sockets just the old-fashioned way <clears throat> I'm thinking it's gonna probably come apart easy since it was rebuilt know, seven years ago. But you're not that good. All right, so I should be able to uh, work around this impeller. Um, put a little pry bar in there, try not to bend anything up. And just take it easy. See if we can work it off there. Trying on here, try not to score any of that good looking shiny stuff there. Yeah, we're getting it. I mean, it's, there we go. Sweet. Alright, so now we're down to this is of that mechanical seal it's got a spring that pushes down in there um, but the leaky part happens back inside there See if I can get it to move any. If not, we'll try it a different way. All right, so that's a no-go. I uh, don't really have a puller to get in there. So I'll put the bolt back in and we'll try separating this and maybe use the weight of that to pop it loose. All right, so I got those four bolts out. I just put a mark there where this lines up and you can see it's got fresh anti-seize on there. Um, and, you know, that's been in there for a while. So I got a friend who always says uh, this stuff gets all over you, but He's like, you order that stuff on the phone, by the time you hang up, you got it on your ear. This stuff gets everywhere. All right, here we go. So don't make fun of me. I'm gonna try and uh, pick it up. Just give us some taps. Well, you can make fun of me.
maybe I might pull it out here and on some concrete. I think that did something. All right, so that was successful. Bolt's not messed up. Shaft is not messed up. Off comes the seal. Nice. All the goodness in there. All right, so we have separation. Lots of uh, crusties. This is all from the outside, I'm sure. pretty much done from here. I'm just uh, the guy who's going to take it apart, take it off, bring it to the pump shop. Uh, they got all the tools and stuff. Uh, I don't normally do this like I said, but today I want to just disassemble it and uh, show you what makes it tick. So This is the actual one of this part of the seal. Uh, this part right here is our mechanical seal. So like you saw, this was pushing, putting pressure down between those two and sealing up around there. So this is all chewed up. And that's where we get our leaks. Alright, and that is our O-ring that fit right on this brass side here. So, color, o ring, and it's a seal, step on seal. They'll clean all this stuff up for us and make it look new again. And get another good seven years out of it. Okay, okay I'm just going to put everything back together. Um, Tighten it all down, all that goodness. Just put all the parts back together and uh, off to the pump shop. Alright, back to mostly together. Like I said it's all loose. Uh, Alright, we're all loaded up. Activate turtle speed to the pump shop. Drive safe, guys. Alright, we made it. Package is delivered. Mission successful. They said they weren't very busy, so we should have it back shortly. All right, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, subscribe. All right, you guys drive safe.